Welcome to the Dear Future Husband podcast. Today, I think we actually get to encapsulate that title fully, maybe the most we ever have, because we are going to dive into actually you and I here right now pray for your future husband. Now I invite you to participate in this and partake in its benefits if you are single, dating, engaged, or married. If marriage is a desire of your heart or is the season and reality that you are in, it is something that you want to pray over. It's something you not only want his blessing on, but you need his grace and you need his strength, you need his covering, not just for you, not just for y'all, but also for him, for this husband we are praying for. Now, Dear Future Husband actually started from me sharing a little snippet into some of the practices and the prayers that I use during my singleness to pray for my future marriage. Honestly, when I was feeling isolated and alone and I wanted to believe for more and I wanted to not be stuck in the same patterns I had seen or the patterns that I had participated in and girls coming up and saying, hey, I heard this video. I want to know more. I want to know how to pray for my future husband. So not only are we doing an episode on that today, but we're going to start the series of praying for your future husband in specific areas and specific ways. We're kicking this off on the topic of praying for his direction because we shared something on our Instagram page. That's something where we have a community building and we have these prayers going out as little snippets and encouragement. So if you're not already following us there, go join, take a little pause, I'll wait. But we'd love to have you as part of that channel on social media. But I wanted to start making episodes around this so we can expand on those offer some verses to look to to have that biblical teaching element and then just share some of my heart on why I think we should pray on this direction, how I've prayed for it, how I've seen this help uh, my own husband in these areas and in these topics. When I posted about praying for your husband's direction, it took off. At the time of this recording, we have almost seen 100,000 people interacting with that post, commenting on it, doing it themselves. And so I'm so excited to dive into this today, share some of what we started in that post and carry it further. So why direction? Why is direction important for a man specifically, for our future husband? And that is because you've likely heard this already. The man is the head. That does not mean that we are the rump. That does not mean that we are less than, but that means that he has a responsibility and keen need for insight and we want to partner with that so we want to pray into that but truthfully even as women we see this sense of calling and direction and what do i do with my life being so heightened in our day and age and in our generation that i feel like it's gotten so misconstrued and and messy and hard to sort through for men and women. So I felt this was important for us to say, hey, we're gonna come alongside our husbands. You know, we can pray for this ourselves. I I hope you are. Uh, Pause and say, we can't just pray for our husbands. We need to be praying with God, building that personal relationship. But as we pray uh, for their direction, let's help sort out the mess. Let's begin interceding for them. Again, even if we don't know them yet, interceding for them to see that clearly and to start walking it out, have clear direction, clear focus. And there's two verses that I want to highlight today that I believe encapsulate that. We're going to couple a psalm and a proverb together and let those lead us in this prayer. And the psalm is 119. 105 it says your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path meaning that in the darkness in that haze that i was even alluding to that we can feel when either the world's trying to tell us this is what you should do or we confuse ourselves saying there's so many things and i want to do this and i want to make a difference in that haze or that darkness confusion distraction The word is our illumination that God actually shows us each step to take. And I believe that is such a beautiful analogy because sometimes we think, I got to figure it all out. Our husband may be thinking, I got to do this. I got to achieve this in my lifetime. But God just says, hey, trust in me. And when you trust in me, I will show you each step. Patience, wait on me to be the one to direct you. The proverb we're going to highlight is 16.3. It says, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. What a promise that is. 
We think, what's the likelihood of this working out? What's the success rate of this venture? What's the salary, the average salary of this job? But God says, I just really need you to commit to me. I don't need you to make it all make sense on paper. I don't need you to have the perfect plan or the perfect route. I just need to know that in your efforts, I will be glorified. And in what you do, you will do it for me. And that is what's going to establish you. That's what's going to create success. Maybe not overnight, maybe not right away, but in surety through that commitment to him, he establishes us and he establishes your future husband. Momentarily, I'm going to lead us in a prayer that you can pray with me over your future husband. I'll put it in the show notes so you can even go back to it, use it as a guide. But I want to also encourage you, maybe take some seconds now. Is God saying anything to you specifically? Is there something within your own purpose that's going to partner with him? Is there something specifically he's downloading to you of what to pray for your future husband? Or is he just even teaching you through these verses? I want to make sure that there is an activation within you as we go over these topics, but I'm also so honored to partner with you. As we pray this together now, I just ask two things. That you pray it with belief and hope that he can actually do this in this man's life and that you pray with gratitude, that we remember that God is the giver of these things and that he is the one that orchestrates us all, even in singleness as we find each other and in marriage as we stay together, he is the ultimate bond. So pray this with me now for your future husband's direction. Lord, I pray over my future husband, be an anchor and a guard all around. Cover and ground him, lead him not into temptation nor distraction. I know that you have written eternity on his heart and direction in his purpose. Show him how to walk steadfast in the path you've set before him. Illuminate your word to him afresh, leading him specifically to what he needs to read today to be able to know how to step tomorrow. I pray that he will be supernaturally immovable until he senses where you want him to go. Give him eyes to see the light you have illuminated before him and confidence to believe that in you he will be able to achieve it. God, I ask you to sweep away any passivity or worldliness that could thwart his efforts or steal your glory. I pray as he commits all his work unto you that you will establish him and give him favor amongst men. Thank you for his ability. Thank you for his talents and thank you for giving him clear direction. I remember when I started praying for my future husband when I was still single. Sometimes I'd feel awkward. Sometimes I feel unsure of what to pray. And my hope is that these will help give you confidence, that you'll see a friend praying with you, believing with you that your future husband is coming and that when he comes, he will be all the better because of your prayers. I encourage you to save these, jot them down, take a screenshot, or just let it inspire you to pray your own prayers for him in this area. As I mentioned, we'll be having more of these, so make sure you're subscribed and you're staying tuned so you can participate in the other ones that are coming out. Just to give you a sneak peek, we're gonna cover purity, we're gonna cover character, we're gonna cover friendships, so much more that I wanna invite you into. I'm proud of you, and I'm so glad that you're here. I'll see you next time.